I'm Hal Humphreys and this is your weekly briefing from Appraiser eLearning. Red flags. Do you ever see them in your work? I know I do. I got a call uh, last week from a client wanted me to appraise a piece of property. They ordered it on a 1004, conventional refinance, no big deal. I get out to look at the property. It's about 60 acres with a mobile home on it. My suggestion was, hey, let's put on the brakes. This is a land appraisal uh, with contributory value of the improvements. Uh, I talked to the client. They said, no, 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 this is, this is a single family residence. Uh, I said, I don't think it is. It's really not. It's a one bedroom, one bath house. It's functional, functionally obsolete. Um, there are real issues with this. It needs to be on a land form. Went back and forth and finally they said, it won't get past Freddie unless it's on a 1004 form. My question for you is, do you ever get asked by your clients to do things that make you think, hmm. I'm not saying that they're wrong to put this on a 1004 form. I'm saying the more appropriate form would be a land form. And I think anytime we're trying to get something past someone, that's a red flag for me. What are some red flag issues that you've seen? Coming up this week at Appraisal Relearning, we have Brian Reynolds teaching USPAP. If you've got to get USPAP taken care of this year and you've never had the pleasure of being in one of Brian's classes, I encourage you go to appraiserylearning.com and sign up for USPAP. It's live online, a virtual classroom, and Brian is one of the best instructors in the business. He's a fantastic teacher. He actually takes USPAP and makes it fun. So that's this week, the 27th and 28th, over at appraiserylearning.com. And again, if you've seen any red flags, if you've had things that cause you to pause and think, hmm, I'm not sure that's the right thing to do, share it with us. Email us at info at I'm Hal Humphreys, and this is your weekly briefing from Appraiser eLearning.